So in addition to asking you to subscribe, I'd like to tell you about today's video sponsor. Planters Cheese Balls. They're good. The canister is empty. There's some crumbs in there. But they are good. $2 and some change usually. I'm sure you could find it cheaper somewhere else. It's hard to find a good cheese product. You have your big companies that make them. And I feel like they really skimp on the amount of cheese dust they put on their balls or on their curls or on their little crunchies, whatever you want to call those. But Planters, I believe, has put the right amount of cheese dust on these balls and they're delicious. Planters Cheese Balls. So I, I just made a Pixel 9 video and that may or may not be up right now. But in summary, in that video, I said, don't buy the Pixel 9. It's not worth it. <laughs> now, here is something that really bothered me. And yeah, at this point, it's, it's been a month and some change since I recorded and uploaded a video. And the main reason, I don't say the main reason, but a reason is that I got so bothered with the iOS 18 announcement. So I watched the event and I always think, you know, I, I do. I mean, their stuff is entertaining, but I'm still just like, okay. So if you look at this little placemat of all the things that are coming to iOS 18, and the only thing I care about, literally the only thing I care about, and in fact, the only thing you should really care about is RCS support. So I don't have anything to point. It's not a touch screen, so I can't see it. But, you know, right there, uh, one icon from the bottom, one icon over from the left, you see RCS messaging support. And for those of you who don't know what RCS is, it's just another messaging standard. I'm not going to say that it's uh, iMessage for Android because that's not what it is, but you get those more modern texting features. And in my opinion, personal and professional, when looking at this placement of things that Apple has decided to highlight, that's literally the only thing on this screen that's going to directly impact literally every iOS user that RCS actually supports. I, I don't know how far back uh, RCS support is going to go for other phones. I mean, I, I guess you have to yeah, update to iOS 18. And then if your phone is running iOS 18, then you'll be able to yeah, enjoy the benefits uh, of RCS messaging support. But if you have one Android friend, you're, you're going to be impacted in a positive way. And when I look at all these other things, I'm like, okay, locked and hidden apps, you might do that. Game mode, I'm glad that's small because a lot of people aren't gaming. Messages uh, via satellite, uh, send messages later. Like, yeah, I mean, cool, they're good features. You might use them, you might not. I mean, how impactful are they? Don't really know. But being able to have a better messaging experience on the iPhone is now going to impact literally every iOS 18 user. So for Apple to just put it in there in such a little small manner, and in fact, verbally, I think they, they said it like right there at the tail end of, oh, uh, and we're also including RCS messages, but like they just threw it in at the end of the little keynote. I was like, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So I think I was bothered. And I, I also feel that I mean, I, I guess this was back in June of WWDC. I don't know if I heard one other person mention the fact that all Apple is doing is essentially updating an app by providing or including this mess this RCS messaging support. And when you simply just update an app, you don't need to release an entirely new operating system. So literally today, I, I know it's uh august and you have all these ios developer and public betas out so if you want to go test it out you can in fact i even downloaded the betas on my phone and i was playing with them back and forth and yeah it works for the most part but the whole point of me even bringing that up is apple could have turned this on years ago or they could turn it on today they could oh in ios 17 whatever it is right now yeah we've updated the messaging app but the way that apple updates their uh, proprietary apps or their their first party apps is in the same way that android does where you know you just update push out updates all the time i mean yes with new versions of android you will get more features in apps as well but i feel like google is like or i'll say I feel like app developers are just like, oh yeah, we just needed to update the app. We didn't need an entirely new version of Android. We didn't need an entirely new version of Windows or even Mac OS sometimes. Just like, oh yeah, just update stuff. But RCS messaging support is, in my opinion, 
the best thing to happen to the iPhone in a very long time. And the fact that Apple gave it, I think, a second or two of verbal mention and on this screen, the second to smallest amount of real estate is really unfortunate. And I hope, I really hope that there are people who are like, you know what? I don't need to feel like I'm locked in to iMessage anymore. So all my friends, however, you know, many that you might have that have Android devices, you get that same messaging experience with all of them. And then now pointing back towards your iPhone friends. Again, if you've switched to Android, you can say, oh yeah, well, we get the same messaging experience. It's not, you know, I'll say a similar messaging experience. So here on this placement, I was very disappointed. And then if you come to this tab right here, I'm at the top of the screen, command F, I've already searched for it. And there are two mentions of RCS. And even on this screen, <laughs> the amount of real estate that Apple gave to schedule a message with send later is more than they gave for support for RCS messaging. And I, I've gotten to the point now where there's no point in saying, oh, well, Google did it first, blah, 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 which, yeah, they did. Um, I can schedule and send a message uh, with my Android device. And I when, when, when Google updated Android messages, their messaging app to allow us to do that. I don't think that came with an entirely new version of Android. I could be wrong, don't quote me, but I really feel like it was just like, oh yeah, let's just add this to the app, not let's add this to the operating system. And we can only do that when we have this massive rollout of the next version. So even with the schedule of message later, that's something Apple could have just added. But I feel like they know, eh, you know what can we really do? Let's, let's, try to jam all these things into this latest version of our operating system so that we actually have stuff to talk about versus let's just incrementally just release stuff throughout the year and just update individual apps. So in my video that I just released, again, talking about Pixel 9 and how I don't think you should buy it for that price, it's not worth it. I criticized Google for you know doing stuff over there, but here, Apple, you know, they all do the same thing. There's not much competition in, 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 this, comp uh, in this country, so we're stuck with what we have. Uh, the iPhone is an okay product, but it really, really sucks that for a feature that's going to literally impact every body. I don't even want to say, I, I think originally I said every iOS user, but in this country, every Android user also knows at least one iPhone user. <laughs> so yeah, it goes both ways. So I'd say almost every body of 350 million people, and of course I'm not thinking globally because there are places where iPhones just don't exist, but yeah, globe like uh, nationally, I feel like everybody who has some form of smartphone is going to be impacted by this, and Apple chose to give it almost no attention. So that sucks.